Hello children. Now I am going to explain the chapter on water, page number 42 and 43. So children pay attention with your books. Page number 42, clean water. The water we drink and use must be clean. All water is not safe to use. Water from lakes and rivers may contain germs, dust and dirt. Such water is called the impure water. The impure water is bad to health. It may cause diseases. Before we use water for drinking, from a source we must filter it, boil it and cool it. Water can be cleaned in different ways. You must have seen water purifier in your homes and school. Tap water is safe for use. Still, it is advisable to purify it. Now, move to page number 43. Water from a source to our homes. Water from a source like a river or a lake is cleaned in waterworks. This water is collected in big tanks. From tanks, through pipes and taps, it reaches our homes. Now children move towards the yellow box. Food items contain more quantity of water. Water is main part of many fruits and vegetables. The juice that we see when we cut tomatoes, cucumber, melon, watermelon, oranges is also form of water only. We should eat these fruits and vegetables regularly. Now children, I am going to explain the topics. First is clean water. As you know that all living things need water. And without it, our body would stop working properly. And we should always drink clean water as it is very essential. That is important not only to remain safe from diseases, that is away from diseases, but also to maintain good health. Like, if the crops are given dirty water, the water which is full of germs or dust, dirt, the bacteria that is harmful, germs and diseases will spread to those who consume, who eat that food, which is grown by giving dirty water. Therefore, water that is used for agriculture, for growing crops, must also come from safe and clean resources. Now those resources can be rivers or tube wells through which water is provided to the crop in the fields. Now there are various diseases caused by drinking dirty water which we should avoid to protect our body. Example, typhoid, cholera, diarrhea. So these are few diseases caused by drinking dirty water. We should always drink clean water. Now, ways to purify water. What are the different methods of purifying water? Water present in river, lake, pond is not safe to drink. So, there is a need to purify it, to clean it, before consuming it, before drinking it. So, the following ways to purify water are boiling, filtration and many more. So, what is boiling? Boiling is that method of cleaning water in which water is heated, which helps to kill germs which are present in the water. And this is the oldest method of cleaning water. And it is in process, it is still used in villages. As people in villages do not have water purifiers like we have. So they use this method to clean water and make it free from germs. Next method is filtration. It is the process of passing a liquid through a filter. And with the help of this, Solid particles or germs are removed and it makes water free from harmful diseases and germs and makes it safe for drinking. 
Now, water from a source to our homes. Water is supplied to our home through the water works. They pump water from a river, dam or lake into a water tower which is placed on height as you can see in the picture. And this type of water tanks are found in different localities, in different areas where we live. The water from these water tanks flows through pipes and all the way reaches our homes. The water is filtered and some chemicals may be added in order to kill germs which are present in water and to protect water from germs when it is in still pipe, when it is supplied to our homes or any other place like different buildings. Now, Food items contain water. Children, do you know that food items also contain water? Yes, there are few food items which contain water in high amount. Example, cucumber, tomatoes, spinach, broccoli, oranges, apples, watermelon. And a body weight consists of 60 to 70 percent of water high amount of water so water is very important part of our body so to maintain this we should drink 8 to 10 glasses of water every day and also include these food items these fruits and vegetables in our daily diet in our daily food okay children that's all for now thank you